What's going on guys, Firewolf Tech here, showing you guys the Zag Invisible Shield Fusion XTR2 Eco for the S23. We're going to go ahead and open this up and show you guys how to install this screen protector. Link for this will be in the description box below, so make sure you guys check that out. So the XTR2 is Zag's most advanced screen protector with anti-reflective technology. It comes with an anti-dust installation, it's made up of 50% recycled material, and it comes with a really nice 40% blue light filtration filter, which blocks out the harmful blue lights. And we can see a Hexion Impact technology over here. And with any purchase of a Zag screen protector, they do come with a really good limited lifetime warranty. So this is great because this screen protector is on the pricey side. So let's see if it's gonna be worth it or not. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what we get inside. All right, so looks like we get two envelopes here, one with the installation instructions on how to install it. Here we have the actual screen protector over here. Very flexible. Has a, you can definitely see the blue tint on it. And then we have all of these screen protector installation accessories, such as this microfiber squeegee here alcohol prep pad, you get a nice white microfiber cloth, and we have a really nice dust removal sticker, and finally an installation tray. So before we install this, we want to first make sure that under settings and display, you want to make sure you have touch sensitivity on. This increases the sensitivity when you use screen protectors. Um, this is going to help the sensitivity of the fingerprint reader as well. So once you verify that, we're just gonna go ahead and power this off, All right? So whenever I'm installing screen protectors, I like to install them horizontally. So we're gonna take the installation frame, we're gonna locate where it says the top right, right on top over here. And we're just gonna basically place the phone on top. So it comes with a really nice, easy installation tool. So I like that a lot. Next, we're gonna take the alcohol white pad here. I'm going to pass it along the front of the screen gonna break up all the dust and lint or oils that's on the screen and after that I'm gonna take the microfiber cloth and we're gonna wipe that all around next I'm gonna grab the dust removal sticker and I'm going to place it all across the screen and this is going to remove any of the final lint pieces that might be on top of the screen I'm gonna make sure you take your time and ensure there's no lint on top of the screen looks nice and clean and finally we are able to install the screen protector here so first thing we're going to do is we're going to basically peel off step number one which will reveal the adhesive side so the top of this is going to be that little hole over here for the front facing camera so I'm going to make sure I position that and then we're going to reveal the adhesive side all right, and then we're gonna gently align the little punch holes over here with the punch holes on the bottom. And then we have the punch holes on top over here as well. All right, so once you guys have that nice and in a line, we're gonna take the microfiber squeegee. We're gonna start from the bottom, apply pressure, and you wanna apply pressure all around from bottom up. Right, and then we're ready to peel off the top portion of the screen protector. Go ahead and take this out. And then we have the actual screen protector installed. We do notice a little bit of bubbles here. So we're gonna take the microfiber squeegee here and we're just gonna gently push them out. All right, and after installing that, we can see the screen protector has been installed successfully and it's pretty much glued on the screen itself. So it looks really nice. Let's go ahead and power on the phone. All right, so now that we have the screen protector installed, let's go ahead and test out the sensitivity, starting with the fingerprint reader. You can see it works perfectly fine. Feels nice and smooth. 
Now this screen protector is not gonna be necessarily glass. It's more of a really, you know, tough TPU screen protector, but it's a very high quality. And even though it has blue light filtering, it doesn't affect the screen at all. So I definitely highly recommend the Invisible Shield Fusion XTR2 screen protector. Now, again, this is not glass, but since the sensitivity of the fingerprint is highly sensitive, this screen protector makes it a lot easier. Sometimes glass can be a little bit struggle trying to unlock the screen with the fingerprint, and this makes it a lot easy. And this is a really strong screen protector. So what I like about this is that unlike glass, um, glass tends to break very easily, especially when you drop your phone and just, it's, it's just known to be, you know, it's just known to crack so easily. At least with this type of screen protector, it'll definitely last a very, very long time and it provides really great screen protection as well. And if it ever gets damaged again with Zag's lifetime warranty, you're pretty much covered from head to toe. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching guys.